Hey everybody and welcome to Alphabet City. This show covers the biggest news related to Google and its parent company, Alphabet. What else does Alphabet own? Waymo, Jigsaw, Calico, X, Verily, and more. More isn't a company, I just mean there are more companies. Anyway, I'm your guide, Ayaz Akhtar. Today, we're talking about diapers, Google app changes, and the world's first holographic phone. First stop, the world famous Android Avenue. Have you guys heard about the Red Hydrogen One phone? It's from Red, better known as makers of very fancy cameras. The hook for Red's first phone is a 5.7 inch holographic screen. CNET's Patrick Holland got to check it out. Wait a second, Patrick, can you hear me? Uh, I, I hear you fine. So let's talk about the Red Hydrogen One phone. You got to see it in person in some kind of exclusive event. Did Red let you grab any footage showing off that holographic screen? Okay, so I did see the phone at the event. It's very important to say that I saw a prototype of the phone. In fact, it was very limited what I saw, but it was very impressive. But going into the event, they did not want to take any photos or videos of the screen. And I think it's important to let people know that the screen does work, but the reason they don't want to show pictures of it is because it's a holographic 3D screen. And if you look at it in a 2D picture, it wouldn't really do it justice of how awesome it is. Can you try to describe how the effect looks then? Yeah, I'll try to describe it. Uh, it. If you've ever seen a 3D movie, it looks like that. The difference being that when you're in a 3D movie and if you move your head around, sometimes a 3D effect can kind of move around or not be as impactful. Um, and also, you're, you have to wear glasses. Looking at the screen, what was neat about it, it's called four view. So if I move the screen around, I kind of had this, the 3D effect no matter which way I kind of tilted the screen or angled the screen, if I was in landscape or portrait, it seemed to have the, the same effect and it was pretty impressive. At the end of the reel, there was a shot from the movie Brave um, and she's shooting the arrow and you see the arrow coming out of the screen right at you. And I, I asked the guy immediately, can I just watch this reel again? I was really impressed by it because I didn't expect it to work. It reminded me a little bit of the first iPhone when I heard that you could swipe and touch a screen. I thought that was crazy. But when we actually saw it, it felt a little bit like magic and eh, it felt a little bit like that. Thanks, Patrick. Next stop, Play Plaza. Some quick tidbits about changes in Google and or Android apps. Google announced on Twitter that Google Photos will get a star button so you can mark favorites. Favorites will be viewable in the Album tab. If you're part of a shared album or photo because you're always included in everyone's plans because you are so loved, you lovable scamp, you can show some love back by hitting the heart icon. Epic Games says Fortnite is coming to Android. When? Don't worry, Epic has specified a very particular time. Let's see the blog post. Epic is targeting this summer for the release. We'll get Google to clear up that time. Summer begins on Thursday, June 21st, 2018. Last stop, Verily Valley. It's time to talk about a smart diaper. The good folks at Ars Technica found a patent application filed by Verily that covers just that. Quick aside, Verily Life Sciences was formerly known as Google Life Sciences. It is behind a number of projects such as a spoon for people with tremors and advancing surgical robots. Verily is owned by Alphabet. So what can a smart diaper do? Let's take a look at the patent's amazing figure drawings. You guessed it the diaper would be able to differentiate between feces and urine. Then it would transmit this notice to you. So if your plan to become a billionaire rested on inventing the world's first smart diaper, take a look at Verily's patent and make sure your method is different. Before we go, you guys had lots of questions regarding Google Play Music and how it fits in with YouTube Premium as well as YouTube Music Premium. I've been talking with Google about this. The short version is, if you had Google Play Music or YouTube Red, you get YouTube Premium with the ad-free version of YouTube Music. This is true in the US, Australia, South Korea, New Zealand, and Mexico. Also, a tweet from the head of YouTube Music says, your collection, playlists, and preferences will be preserved and migrated to YouTube Music for a soft landing. If you guys have more questions, let me know. That does it for us. If you enjoyed your time in Alphabet City, remember to like and subscribe. If you wanna know when there are new episodes, hit that notification button. Here's a hint, new episodes arrive every Tuesday. I'm Maya Zaktar and I'll see you online. Hey, you're still watching, trivia time. Which one of these is not a project by an alphabet company? Internet by balloon, taking on bed bugs, 
smart contact lenses, or energy kites. 